Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Sociology with me, Adam Melvin. In this episode, we're going to look at the biomedical model of health. Now, this is not specifically a sociological theory, but if you're studying sociology, um, specifically the sociology of health and, and illness or the sociology of health and medicine or nursing um, disciplines like that, medicine, you will probably cover, well, you almost certainly will cover the biomedical model of health, um, but it does have some sociological ap application as well. The biomedical model of health is the dominant um, model used by healthcare systems and healthcare practitioners in the Western world. Really, we can trace the roots of this back to the Enlightenment period, where there was a move to more scientific approaches to health and illness, and a move away from kind of more traditional ideas about illness. So we'll have all seen this model in practice, um, and if you haven't seen it, next time you visit a GP or um, you see a nurse, you will you'll probably understand this more. So in this model, the practitioner will um, basically work through a series of questions, talking to the patient, uh, the service user. They'll ask them various questions. The idea being to eliminate certain illnesses and get to a root cause of what's wrong with the individual so that then treatment can be given. Now, it's important to realise it's the biomedical model of health. So this model is specifically about the biology. It's about the individual. And this is kind of where the sociology comes in. It looks at the illness from the individual level um, and it often sees the individual in isolation. And once the model has assessed the individual with the illness and come to a diagnosis, the symptoms will be treated. And that's the important thing here. The, it's the symptoms that are treated. So it's often each illness is seen in isolation. Now, the problem with this is, although it's great in diagnosing in illnesses, um, one of the issues is it can, certain illnesses could look like another illness, so people could be misdiagnosed, um, and it's kind of diagnosed in quite a small window, so there's not a lot, a lot of opportunity for sort of looking at maybe the patient's wider life, that kind of thing. So from a sociological point of view, sociology of health and illness, we might think that this is a less personal approach you know, traditionally we had the, um, maybe the village doctor coming to do house calls and now we've moved to, you know, a busy hospital where um, people are seen more, you know, quickly and people are seen as more of a case possibly rather than an individual. Um, the other argument around this would be that I mentioned the Enlightenment period and basically as technologies advanced, um, usually the microscope and things like this are cited here. Um, what, things like the microscope allowed for a greater depth of knowledge. You could look at the individual at the cellular level, but again, it could be argued that this is kind of less personal. So the individual becomes a case rather than um, an individual person. Now, there's obviously benefits to this because this greater technology means that the patient can be treated um, more effectively, more patients can be seen than they would have been traditionally. Um, but it's the fact that we lose the patient as an individual um, might be the issue. And that is where the next model we'll look at comes into play, which is another complementary model. So essentially, let's just have a quick think here. Biomedical model is the dominant Western model of health and of treating health. Um, it's used by, you know, the NHS, um, private doctors, private practitioners. And what it allows the practitioners to do is navigate through um, a series of possible reasons for the individual being ill and eliminate what it's not and then get to a root cause. Once that root cause is found, then the disease or the illness can be treated. 
Um, and again, as I said, if we're critiquing it from a sociological level, we might say that this is um, a less personal approach. It might be a more efficient approach, but it's, it's less personal. Um, okay, so that's the biomedical model of health very briefly. Um, in the next session, we'll look at the social model of health, which is a, a response and a complementary um, model, which will fill in some of the blanks from this one that we've just talked about.